Welcome to the Illustrated Faith YouTube channel. My name is Gina, aka Create and Daydream on the socials, and I'm so happy to be here. Today what we're going to do is we're going to draw inspiration from these three items on your screen, and we're going to make a faux mixed media Bible journaling layout. Okay, words, let's get together on the same team here so I can voice over this video, eh? <laughs> I got the idea for this video based on this layout that I did in my mixed media faith art journal. Um, this is something that is mixed media. I still am fairly new to it. So I thought today what I would do is show you how to fake it with print and pray. We're going to use Experiencing God Make by Brianna. We're also going to use Mark Maker Collage Papers by Elaine Davis. We're going to use Crown of Glory by Tamara Arcelia. And we're also going to use a little bit of the paper bundle, the Mark Maker paper bundle available in the print and pray shop all of this will be listed below so let's get started okay so first up the bible i'm using is an nlt journaling edition bible by tyndale house i love it because it has white pages um they just came out with a brand new one i will link that below and if you want to just put it out there to all the Bible makers, I would love a interleaved Bible with white pages as well. I'm just saying. Okay, I just put you on a fast forward, not too fast, but you know, just a little bit. As you can see, I have printed and cut out all the ephemera. I have lots of paint brushes. I'm going to tell you why here in a minute. But what I just cut out was a piece from the paper bundle. This is printed on clear Mako sticker paper. This is just to lay a base of a tiny little bit of color on the right side of this layout. And what I did is I laid down an old Happy Planner dash cover. Um, I think it's just an app Happy Planner cover to give me some stability on this right side. I do this when I have like lumpy pages behind um, just to give me again stability. It's a great idea. You can use lots of different things. A quick little tip before we go on. If you're laying down clear Mako sticker paper and it bunches up a little bit, in the Bibles with the thin paper, if you just take your nail to them, it smooths it right out. Okay, as you see me laying down some of Elaine's collage papers, let's jump into the Bible. We are in Luke 3, 15 through 22. I am on the call to create cards, making a mark part six. Okay, real quick, let me address um, covering up words in the Bible or not covering up words in the Bible. So for this layout, I am totally okay with covering up the right side of the page. This is Jesus's genealogy. That's the reason, you know, it's so small. I loved opening up my Bible to have this much room, um, but I'm not worried about covering that up. Over on the left side, I do end up covering the bottom portion, and that is also Jesus's genealogy. I would say, and I will say, that covering up the words or not covering up the words is your own personal preference. Your key to that is clear Mako sticker paper because you can still read the words through it. Okay, as I shared in the beginning, I took inspiration from three sets, called to create, uh, mark maker, and experiencing God. These all have one thing in common, and they're all about cultivating creativity in you. In fact, as I look back to Called to Create, the very first card says, For the Seeking Creative, 40 Invitations to Cultivate the Creative Life that God has Called You To. And let me say, if you picked up Called to Create and you have not started, it's okay. Yes, Brianna is doing this as a Lint project. You can listen to her talk about her cards every single day and what kind of little artwork she's doing. But don't feel like you missed the boat if you did not like do them every day with her. Here I am. I'm in Making a Mark. I've been reading along with her, but I've been creating as I can. So you're not behind. That's a, that's a big rule of creativity. You're never behind. And here's another little point is God's timing is perfect. So say you're just picking up call to create today. You may hit a section in call to create that your heart needed to read so badly. So lean in, um, listen for him, pray to him, listen to worship music because you never know when he's going to spark something creative in you. If you're not paying attention to him. I can tell you firsthand that I'm the most creative, like when I'm Bible journaling or faith journaling or whatever, 
when I've been in my Bible, when I've been reading, uh, you know, scripture plans, or when I've been studying a devotional, when I've been listening to creative worship music, not creative worship, <laughs> to worship music. Um, that's what I get the most creative. And another thing is get involved in the community. We have a huge Bible journaling community on Instagram and on Facebook. I will link both those links below for Illustrated Faith, but there's also a ton of other creatives in the community. So look around, reach out because you never know who you might pull a little bit of uh, inspiration from, which leads me back to my page in the paintbrushes. I pulled inspiration from Shauna Noel's like workshop. I think that's her workshop. She has paint brushes just hanging and I believe they are shown in the Mark Maker devotional. And yes, they are her beautiful faces in front of her paintbrush wall. So not something that I would think to hang up is like paintbrushes, but it's super creative and clever. So now I'm hanging like now I'm holding on to all my paintbrushes. So, okay, I'm using my Memory Keepers hole punch uh, thingamajing and I just got that. It has a bunch of different sizes. I will link that below if that's something that you would like to have. I cut out the words that Brianna has in experiencing God make. I put a couple of those on my paintbrushes and then a couple more are going to lay on the page directly. I decided to pull out the stamp with the Mark Maker Kit would hatch, which has a perfect paintbrush in it. I was a little unsure how I was going to like, like a stamped image. So I initially stamped it on clear Mako sticker paper. I liked it. I laid it down. Now you can see I'm coming in and I'm stamping on my page. I'm pretty new to stamping. Um, so I'm kind of stoked that it's all working out. <laughs> Okay, so to jump back into the scripture, Luke 3:15 through 22, it starts with the people were waiting expectantly and were all wondering in their hearts if John might possibly be the Messiah. John answered them all, I baptize you with water, but one who is more powerful than I will come, the straps of whose sandals I am not worthy to untie. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. Okay, so to jump forward a little bit, we go to verse 21 that says, when all the people were being baptized, Jesus Jesus was baptized too. And as he was praying, heaven was opened and the Holy Spirit descended on him in bodily form like a dove. And a voice came from heaven. You are my son whom I love. With you I am well pleased. Oh, I love that so much. <laughs> Whew. Okay, I had to shake off the chills, a little chilly willies. That's just such an amazing thought. Like, oh, could you imagine the heavens opening and like God just saying, I love you. <laughs> I love you, Lord. Um, okay, so why is this important in Mark Maker or called to create or experiencing God? And it is because think about John. John got to baptize Jesus. Like in his mind, it wasn't that big of a deal because it's like, oh, the Messiah is coming. But John made his mark and it just kind of guides us into we all have a mark to make as well. And I think Brianna sums this up perfectly on her card for that day. She says, I may have a very small part to play in God's story, but that is all right. I can still contribute in an honest way about where I am today and who I am today. As a result, my work will take on simplicity and directness, and it will draw others to Christ because of my honesty. How good is that? Like, I... I go to a church, well I went to a church, we've moved away from it, but I still call it my main church. And the whole like motto of the church was to help people find and follow Jesus. And now like I'm on that mission as well. And if we can serve each other just by creatively sharing, you know, something in our Bibles or our faith journals, or, you know, if you're a graphic designer and you're sharing something like Kelly Bangs does with knowledge notes or Brave Little Taylor with her devotionals, you're making a mark and that mark is never going to go away. I want to say one more thing about this is this Brianna Showalter set that is called Experiencing God. Uh, make. I was talking to her and she has 12 of these. So I've already done January and February, but this entire year she's focusing in on what it's like to experience God. So January was listen, uh, February is abide, and obviously March is make. So that's a great um, set to get 
I'm just gonna plug it there because I think it's fantastic. Okay, so what you saw me laying down on the page is if you cut up your printables in different ways, you can make it look like mixed media. Obviously, we know that is a printable, but like from a distance, it is very similar to the painting and it's something that someone else has already done and you're just using sticker paper creatively to put it in your Bible. So if you're a beginner Bible journaler, like using print and pray is a fantastic way to start. That's exactly how I started and I still love it like three, four, five years later. So, okay, now we're coming in and I'm going to bring a title onto this page. I was going to put Mark Maker, but I decided to come in and write made, <coughs> excuse me, made to be a maker. Um, and that's because we all are made to be a maker of uh, something, you know, whether you're a senior seamstress or you're cooking food or you are a woman who made a baby like women especially like we are makers we are caretakers um we are creative and if you don't think you're creative i encourage you to go get a sketchbook or get a notebook and just start like doodling or swatching your paints or anything put on some worship music and say you know what today i'm gonna pull out my acrylic paints and i'm just gonna make something with them and i promise if you continue to do that you're gonna get more and more creative especially if you're leaning into god and doing it for his glory okay so as you can see i'm i'm writing into here i'm stamping in here made to be a maker i pulled kelly bang's new set which i think is alpha goals that's the middle portion i'm pulling a button from the kit um the mark maker kit it was a little bit big so it kind of you know blends in there together maybe you separate those out you know if you want not a big deal um on the card over there on the left that i'm going to use as a pocket brianna wrote you may not be the first to make it say it paint it write it draw it create it or believe it but you making it may be the first time someone finally sees. How true is that, you all? Like, we all started Bible journaling at some point. Maybe you're coming to this channel and this is the first Bible journaling, like, video you've ever seen. Um, I was a brand new Bible journaler. Like, Shauna Noel was a brand new Bible journaler. Like, she's kind of the pioneer or is the pioneer of Bible journaling. We all had to start somewhere. So, sit down. Think about what you want to create, give it all to God, and I promise you he's going to give it back to you in a beautiful, creative way. And take inspiration from those around you. Like right now I'm putting washi tape on my pages that I've ripped down the middle. Totally got that from Jilly Drangschult. Like she's a creative little sweetheart. Um, I never saw that before I saw her doing it. And now it's kind of become one of the things I love to do. I love to tear washi tape and just add a little bit of color or pattern or something around my pages. Um, so remember that. And one other thing, so another thing I wanna share, I wanna share so many things, but this video could be five hours. So I wanna share the beginning of Mark Maker, which is what Sean and Noel wrote. And it says, in the beginning, God created. Whenever I'm asked my favorite verse, my heart goes back to Genesis 1-1. It's simple. That is one of the things I love most about it. It is a beautiful reminder of where things start in their creation. It also reminds me how much God values creativity. When we make it a priority, not only in our life, but in our relationship with Jesus, it is so rewarding. Yes, Shana, well, it is so rewarding. Um, so that is like kind of what ties in these three things that I was talking about, like these three sets. It's all about being a maker of some sort. We all have a mark to leave. So um, quickly back to my page over there on the left where I wrote, I wrote that on clear sticker paper. I printed out, um, I want to say they're noteworthy cards. I printed them out on Mako paper, the Mako clear sticker paper. I write it outside the Bible. That way if I mess up, I, it's not already in my Bible. And I use Tombow markers. That's just a little tip for you. I love them. Um, they're made to be lettering markers, but if you're careful with them, you can, you know, use them however you want to because as you can see my writing is never always the same print uh, I have 10 million fonts in my head that want to be used at all times um, now I'm gonna come in and I'm not gonna add like big bold stamps like I did in my mixed media page but I wanted to bring in some of Elaine Davis's stamps here 
And these are appropriately tiled mini marks. And she made these a long time ago. I'm not a long time ago, but they're in the shop. They're so cute. So if you're like, oh yeah, I don't know what to put on my page, go to stamps. Like I'm gonna start getting more colors for ink pads because I primarily only have black and like four little ones, um, but they really add a lot. So friends, that is my full mixed media layout. Um, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Make sure to follow us on Facebook and Instagram, and I will see you all in a month. God bless each and every single one of you. Bless up my friends.